Hey everybody, it's Everest with a special guest, my chest cold here. So, here are the plants. Two and a half weeks later, uh, the flow and grow has been working great, flooding the plants twice a day. The pH and the TDS of my nutrients have been fairly stable in this large reservoir. I've also been manually top feeding using this rather fetching red watering can, just to make sure you know that those grow down Rockwell blocks don't dry out too much. Now, the weather, on the other hand, and the reason for my tone, has sucked. I mean, it's really, really sucked. It's early June, but it's felt like February. We've had really strong winds, lots of rain, really weird. Nighttime temperatures have been unseasonally low too, which is, you know, a major bummer as it's caused my peppers to flip into flower and fruit production. As you can see here, lots and lots of flowers beginning to form and not much vertical growth, and this is not what I wanted at all. Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße! <sighs> okay. Breathe, Everest, breathe. So... Here's my remedial plan. With the bad weather blip hopefully behind us now, I'm going to try and turn this outdoor hydroponics endeavor into an interesting experiment on plant theory. Can I switch some of these pepper plants back into grow mode, namely the ones on the back row near the trellis? Now, I've moved the taller plants to the back row, and now I'm going to remove all those flowers from the back row and do my best to keep their root zones fairly moist. So I'm hoping that this will steer the back row of plants back into producing stems and leaves rather than flowers and fruits so I can get the pepper plants I was hoping for and grumpy Everest can go away. We'll leave the front row untouched as a control. So please post your comments and questions at justforgrowers.com. You'll find lots more videos and articles there too.